Yo, what's going on guys? I know this is probably a surprise for most of you, but obviously I haven't been making solo guides. Uh, as you guys know, solo is bad again. <laughs> I swear it was just like four months ago we were talking about how bad solo was and solo guides would come back when solos got better. But with the trades and stuff, I it's just like so hard to play the game solo right now because you just die. Even if you outplay a team, you just die. And I guarantee you this video, we will probably trade at least once, probably multiple times, uh, if I'm being honest. But uh, the new shotgun is out and I need to play it and a lot of people want to see it. So I thought, you know, let's let's fucking do it. Um, I am not going to be playing the new army. I was originally thinking I would go um, with the new army pistol, but I'm sorry, guys. This pistol is just absolute garbage. <laughs> It is absolute garbage. It is quite literally a six round Derringer, in my opinion. And um, when the pistol first came out on test server, I thought it was garbage then, but it was fun, you know, because it's a new weapon, but they actually nerfed it. Like when they pushed it to live, they nerfed the gun when they pushed it to live. And I was just mind boggled by that because this gun is terrible. It's, it's actually terrible. You can, you can challenge someone that's playing this weapon when you're missing a 50 bar. It's, it's crazy. It's crazy. Like, it's crazy. And the muzzle velocity is crazy on it. Look at the muzzle velocity. Silent Nagant has more velocity. And this gun is only really good with FMJ. And that knocks it down even more. But anyways, yeah, I'm not going to be playing the new army. Because like, we're playing, like like I said, we're playing Silver's Trio. And the new army is only good if you're, like, within a 2 meters of somebody. 5 meters of somebody. Because then you can actually get a 2 tap. But, uh... Yeah, it's, it's pretty rare, and like I said, with FMJ, and if I'm playing Slurvish Trio, it only has 12 reserve ammo, so I'm going to run out really quickly, and I'm not going to be doing much damage, and I'm probably going to be missing a lot because the, the muzzle velocity is so low. But anyways, yeah, we're going to be playing the Slate. This gun is pretty pretty cracked, actually. Um, with Buckshot, it's, it's, kind of, uh, it's kind of okay. Double Barrel is still going to be your king of shotguns with Buckshot. But this this gun with slugs is uh, is pretty pretty fun to play. Pretty much turns it into an SKS. It's uh it's really good. If you saw my SKS video recently with the Crown and King, this the slate is really fun with the uh, with the, the slugs and Iron Devastator as well. Pretty much the same as the Crown, but a little bit better because you don't have the crazy recoil and stuff. But uh yeah guys. Anyways, we're gonna get into this. We're gonna be playing slate and uppercut. I'm gonna be trying to play slow this time. I'm not going to do anything crazy, I think, because I really want to get value out of my traps and things like that. But uh, yeah, guys, welcome back to another solo guide. Thanks for giving me your eyeballs. Uh, let's get into this, yeah? <clears throat> DeSalle! Double bounty, yuck! Uh, I'm gonna actually do something unconventional here just because to sal spawns. I'm just gonna wait here for 30 seconds to a minute because there's a spawn right here um, that can just absolutely destroy me if I run like this because I can just run up to the bridge. And uh, yeah, there's no cover, so they will absolutely destroy me. So I will do something a little unconventional here and wait a moment. Yeah, look, they're there. What I tell you? Holy shit. The brain, the cranium is so big. They literally aggro the AI and stuff. Look. Oh no, please don't see me. <laughs> Dude, I had to go for it, guys. I had to go for it. I had to go for it. I had to do it. I had to do it. That's my longest uppercut headshot in a very long time. I guarantee you guys that was out of range, but it killed her anyways because uh, she's been bit by the dogs two, three times and she was bleeding. Oh my God, that was, that was sick. That was sick. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to rotate all the way around this team. I'm going to come over here now and approach fort like this. Oh my God, that was crazy. That was crazy. That was crazy. That was, uh, I think that was the play, though. Especially since I'm solo, I just wanted to play a little bit safer. If I was in trio, I would totally just run out of the spawn like you normally would. 
But since I was solo, I figured I should play a little bit safe. Because, like I said, I can get destroyed by that team. So we took down the tier 2 Hannah skin. Uh, if you don't know, the skin that we just killed is my favorite skin in the game. Sounds like two teams here, maybe. But yeah, that skin is my favorite skin. We have the clue right here. I kind of want to stay away from it. I don't want it to go red. I don't want the squad to know that I'm here. Did that team... Is there two teams here? I don't know. Not sure. Let's go inside here. We're just going to go slow. Use Lightfoot. Try to sneak around this team. Try to get another pick. Maybe they just instantly res and went to Seven Sisters. Seems like that's the case. They insta res and went to Seven Sisters. Fair enough. Fair play. Never mind. He's actually just sitting here. Holy fuck. This guy scared the shit out of me, guys. I think they rest. Yeah, they did. Gonna push up with a shoddy. Need to be careful this team from behind. Red barrel here. I'm getting shot from behind. We need to just move up. She's running. Can I just melee this in the leg? So it doesn't chase me? Gonna continue the chase. I think she's out here somewhere. We knew she's running because she shot the barrel. Then the clue went white. I have no idea where she's hiding. God damn it, dude. I don't know where she's hiding. She just ran somewhere and held still. And I don't know where she was. I really don't know where she went. Well, that's when we burn, I guess. You need to be careful this team from Seven Sisters. What? New team. Another team, just like... Okay, so we have tier one Hannah and we have this new team here and I, I don't really know where they is. Monka dude. the entire server right now actually guys we're actually fighting the whole server 
I think. Let's use Vigor to heal. Gonna hit him with a little rotate. Um. Okay, here's what's happening. There's a team over here somewhere. I'm fighting a trio. I killed two of one trio. I'm fighting another trio and maybe a solo or a duo. Something like that. And then there's a solo duo fighting up here doing some boss or something. The thing is, I need to rotate, but that guy out there is going to kill me. Okay, they don't they don't know that I'm down. No shots. Of course, man. Of course. Yeah, like I said. Oh man, that's so unfortunate, guys. I knew this was gonna happen. It is what it is. I knew I would die to some random, some random shit like that. Oh man. I guess the play, I guess the play is I just run downstairs and go up the elevator because I did hear this the whole team push over for the revive. So I guess that's what I should have done. But, uh, you know, it's kind of hard to realize that in the moment. You know what I mean? Ah, shit, man. Shit, man. That was going to be a sick game. That's unfortunate. GG's. But yeah, what I, sh what I should have done is gone in the underground and just went to the, um, went to the, uh, the elevator and gone to the boss layer. That's what I should have done. That's super, super unfortunate, man. GG's. We got to go bounty, which is pretty good. And, uh, old map. So, definitely not too bad. Not too bad. Uh, my new, by the way, I changed my uh, consumable setup. I used to play two stamps, two regens, but, uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, two stamps, one big regen, one flash. But now I'm bringing two flashes because flashes are honestly just insanely OP. And uh, will definitely win you more fights than if you don't have them, obviously. Flashes are pretty nuts. And by the way, guys, I do just want to remind you that I do stream on Twitch. Uh, somehow, a lot of people don't know this, but I do stream on Twitch all the time, five days a week. So if you guys want to come and check out the stream, sometimes six. Uh, we're playing lots of hunt, obviously. And recently, I've been playing lots of uh, Daisy as well. If you guys are interested in that game at all, the boss is here. Someone might be here. Nah, no, it's okay. I just thought someone was maybe here because the boss kept getting aggroed. I'm gonna regen my stam here so I can full charge the boss here. Scrap Peak is pretty easy to kill. All you need is a knife or a knuckle knife. You just run in and stab them over and over and over. Pretty easy stuff here. On the first cycle, the scrap beak will not stab you, so you just literally just go in and full drain your stamina bar on them with the knife. It's really, really easy. Ooh, it's red though. I'm going to assume they're either from Cyprus or uh, the Vaunt. So we need to be careful. Don't think they're in here because the, because the door is still closed here. So I don't think they're in here. I think these guys are from uh, the Vaunt then. I do want to be careful here. I really don't want to die. Oh my God. All right. We found one of them.
We found one of them at least. Gonna try to go for like a crack peek here. We have the classic situation of a trio team being super safe. So I'm just gonna play even safer than them and not really give them opportunities to kill me. This is a classic situation though of uh, trios playing very safe against the solo. They don't know I'm solo yet, which is, you know, that's fine. But yeah, like I said, they are just playing very, very safe. So I'm gonna put some traps here as well. Scrappy might step on them. I really hope he doesn't though. We did use our regen shot and it's only five minutes. I honestly should have brought a big one. Regen shots. Man, he did step in it. Regen shots on solos are really OP. These guys aren't in the uh, range anymore. What was that render? That window just like flashed in front of me. Scrappy's actually dying to the trap though. The poison is actually killing them. What the hell? These guys rotated over here, I believe. Just looking through the cracks right now. See if I can see them. They did go red again. I'm confused to be honest. I kind of want to get rid of that barrel, but I'm going to keep it just in case because it could actually grant me a kill. I don't know if there's any peaks that I can do from here. A desync. Seeing if anyone was over at the Breaking Bad house right over there. By the way, I put the traps a little bit off the doorway so that I could uh, actually jump over them if I need to. The player rushing isn't going to see these, but I could still jump over them if I, if I come in the door, if that makes sense. Man, I, I, I want this fight to progress, right? But these guys like don't want to push in and that's fine. They just want to play safe. But uh, that is boring for us, obviously. A little boring for us. I'm just going to wait. It's single bounty. So the other teams are bound to come here, right? Eventually. What is this, by the way? Look at my arms. <laughs> Yeah, the other teams are bound to come here, so We can just wait Kind of want to kill Scrappy though because uh Then we'll get some more meds and stuff careful of a push Now we have the boss layer to use. 
Yeah, they're just sitting on the roof and stuff. That's okay. We can go for a crack peek. It's actually better that I just like don't challenge these guys. Because the other teams are going to show up and just kill them from behind. You know what I mean? So. I want to make sure I hit this headshot. I want to make sure I hit this headshot. I don't know if you guys saw him there. Come on, repeat it, man. His head's like right there. I don't, I, I just, I don't, I could go for this wall bang. But, uh, I just really want to guarantee a kill here. And like I said, longer we wait, the better, actually, because the other team should show up. But it does sound like they're just AFK farming the map, of course. Classic hunt showdown event things. That's okay, though. Oh my god, I missed. Honestly, it's so hard to hit someone that's crouch, like crouch ADing like this because their head moves in such weird ways. That is unfortunate. I feel like they changed these cracks. You used to be able to like walk up and look straight out, like head height. Of course, they have long ammo. Oh, I didn't heal. Man, this is frustrating. It's a frustrating fight for sure. Because they're just going to sit back with the long ammo. Uh, not a headshot either. Unbelievable. I need to find a different crack. So we have one on the roof and then I think one on the first floor. It's just suicide guys if I if I push out here, so this roof is such a, like such a hard push. Because there's no cover to it, right? And plus their meathead is there. I guess that's why I guess that's what I was a misclick. <laughs> I guess that's why they're not pushing, but uh yeah. Well, they're not stopping my extract, so I could just pick up and try to run. But uh I don't like doing that as solo because they still get rewarded for doing nothing. 
because they just get the other bounty, you know. I'm gonna just crouch walk up to this. So I don't have light foot. I'm just gonna crouch walk up to this crack here. See if I can get a kill. I'm really surprised there's no other teams here. That's actually crazy to me. I think they're just sitting inside. I don't think anyone's on the roof now. Hmm. I want this fight to progress, guys, really badly. But there's just nothing's gonna happen unless I make a move. Ugh. One of them is outside. Like on the on the dirt, I mean. Are they both crouching under the house? Don't tell me. No, I don't think so. They both have long ammo. One of them Mosin, one of them Berthier, right? So... This is pretty tough, guys. Like, nothing's gonna happen. And I, I don't know why there's no other teams here. Solo bounty. I swear, every time I banish the last, like, two weeks on the stream, and, and obviously right now, literally, no one comes. Vombus has the same issue. Hornet has the same issue. Like, we banish, and nobody shows up. It, it It's kind of uh, amazing, honestly. Even in solo bounties. Oh my god, there is one crouching under the house. Are you kidding? No way. They didn't hit for some reason. Oh, the meathead. The meathead actually blocks me. No way. The meathead actually blocks me. Oh, one of them died. No way. Two of them died. No way. All right. This is what patience. This is why patience is actually bad, guys. Oh my God, gun smack. Perfect. This is why playing patient is actually bad, guys. Because you just get, uh, you get third partied. If this team just pushed me as three, they would probably kill me. Not even trolling. And what I need to do is get out of this house before this other trio traps me inside. Does that make sense? Perfect. So we killed that trio. I wish I could loot the other ones. But, uh, beggars can't be choosers. So... Now what I need to do is get ready for the onslaught of this other team. That's why I'm telling you guys, if I just if I just wait in this situation, this team will die from behind. And give me an opportunity to push up and get some kills. Ah, uh, this is beautiful. This team is using all their nades. This team is using all of their nades. It's really good. Let's go back to this crack. I like this crack. There's another one under the house. No way. A 
I missed the follow up. Dude, why would that guy go into the house? To loot? Is he that greedy? I guess, huh? By the way, guys, if you didn't already know, never crouch underneath that house. Any of the houses. Never crouch under the houses. It's a quick and easy way to die. Okay, we have one flanking over here. I need to just headshot him. Let's actually try to use that angle on the door. It's a pretty sick angle. Keep in mind, guys, I could just run to extract this entire time. When that fight started with them, I could have just ran to the extract. But like I said, I don't want to reward these people for not doing anything. You know what I mean? Hmm. Yeah, I hear him over there, but I don't see him. Ooh, nice wall bang, brother. Nice wall bang. No other meds. I'm gonna lose this game if I uh, don't kill them. And I mean, I'll, I'll lose this game because I'm out of meds. Man, I misclick again. Why am I doing that? I never do that, guys. Okay, one flanked really far behind me. It's actually good for me because that puts me in a 2v1. Unlucky. That's the headshots. We're out of bullets, though, guys. I thought I think about it. <laughs> Again, we have another trio playing extremely safe. What I'm thinking right now, guys, is I'm, I'm just trying to play for a pick, right? That's pretty much all I'm doing. Barrel. Shit. <laughs> Gonna rotate in here. Do you hear my traps?
We made it a 1v1 and now we play safe. We've made it a 1v1 and now we play safe. We wasted our flashes, but that's okay. We go now. Oh, perfect. We wait for him to waste his Springfield shot because he has a long reload, right? Because he's single fire weapon. We wait for him to waste his Springfield and then we push. I was just about to say it, but then he did it. He did exactly what I wanted him to. Ooh. Dude, perfect, man. Perfect, 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 perfect. GG's. GG's, GG's. That was perfect, guys. Let me uh, kind of replay that fight there with these guys. So I was uh, like here, right? The door was closed. The door was closed. I was waiting for one to peek here, right? With the shoddy. But then they opened it. So what I did is I isolate the angles. We know there's one on the right. And we saw the uh, guy about here, right? The uh, bear man wannabe skin. So what I did is obviously I don't tuck into a corner because this guy would see me, right? What I do is I stand kind of in the middle in the open because we know there's one over here. We know there's the bone doctor there and the bear man there, right? So there's no angle on any of them peeking me, right? They have to both like wide swing. So what I do is I wait for the bone doctor to peek me and then I peek, kill and wall bang, right? Then... Then I fun I run back because the high bomb's coming in. I close the door, but unfortunately it, it bugs onto me. She pushes in actually with her double barrel. And from this point, I know I can't stop the res on the bone dock. So I was like, okay, I just need to rotate and change positions completely because they're gonna overwhelm my building. So what I do is I run to there. I run over to there. She dies to my trap. And I hear the bear man, the wannabe bear man inside layer. And uh and I was about this position with this door closed, right? I kinda I kinda snuck up to here. This door was open as well. Before the bone doctor could see me, I took this this angle or this spot so the bone doctor couldn't see me. So then what I do now is he doesn't know I'm exactly here. I wait for him to be an easy kill because he's already one shot. I peek, kill, then I have a 1v1 situation. And this guy was going for wall bangs, and it's pretty easy there because he has a spring field. So all I need to do is wait for him to shoot and uh, get an easy kill. So that was sick. That was sick. I told you guys. I told you guys. I'm going to play safe. I'm not going to do anything crazy, and it's going to pay off for me. And what did I tell you? Look what happened. Look what happened. I played safe. And I won. I got really scared when the slugs pushed in, by the way. She scared the shit out of me. I thought I was going to die to her for sure. These guys trolling under here. Never crouch under this house, guys. This is uh, how you die super easily. And these guys looted, man. These little, these little, these little fuckers, man. They looted all my loot. All right, GG's. But yeah, guys, never crouch under that. Never crouch here. Never crouch here. And keep in mind, this whole time, I probably could have just ran to the extract when this team in the side of the house and the uh, trio started fighting. Um, what I should have done is just run to the extract with the bounty. But like I said, I don't want to reward these people, these players with, uh, a bounce, with a single bounty, right? I, I either want to go down fighting or uh, actually, uh, you know, kill them all just like I did. So... And that's exactly what I did. So GG's, GG's. Thank God this door was locked. Thank God. That slug girl would have killed me for sure. I'm super, super lucky that she had... Uh, that door was locked. She probably would have killed me. There might even be a team camping. The extract. And if there is, it is what it is, man. They're obviously better gamers than me. If they're camping the extract. I will do a cash register check at Cyprus, but after that, I'll leave. <laughs> GG though, GG's though. Yeah, man, just play slow. Play safe, play slow. It, it paid off. It paid off, guys. It paid off. Oh, 
Nice. Let's do a scan. Okay, I think we're good. Uh, let's do a little cash register check. Do a little cash check. So, cash registers at Cyprus. Right here. Right here. I did make a YouTube video on this, by the way, guys, if you want to check it out. And I will also have a link in the description if you are interested in learning more cash register spawns. Um, yeah, I'll have both links to that video and the, uh, the website. I can see there's a, a cache right here on the ground. Uh, right there. Cash register there. And I don't know if they got rid of it because they reworked Cypress, but there used to be a cash register here. Um, but that one is also new. So they might have swapped that new spawn with this spawn, but keep checking this. But yeah, that's that's all of them. All right, we can head out now. Cool. Cool, cool. GG's, GG's, GG's. There's still another team unaccounted for, so that's why I'm just like moving. I'm not gonna stand still and let these guys snipe me. Epic, epic gamer moment. Good game, good game. GG's. Dude, that last game was actually really sick, guys. Uh, the We played pretty well. We obviously got the Queen's clean sweep, bounty, plus the underdog bonus, and we killed six people. That was a pretty sick game. And the first extraction of the day thing on that hunter. So we gained even more money. Pretty decent game there. Definitely made back our loadout. Um, definitely made our money back, plus some even. It was a, that was a really sick game, honestly. We played pretty good there. But uh, yeah, like guys, that's what I'm saying. Like you just, you play slow, and you wait for the opportunity, right? You put yourself in a position to win. Like what, when I'm inside sitting there, I'm waiting. I'm in I'm in a position where if they all push, I can probably kill two, probably three with the shoddy, right? So I'm sitting in a position where I can kill two. I'm trying to look for a pick, but I'm not overextending trying to get a pick. And I play slow and wait for the third party and take advantage of it. And it worked out perfectly. I, uh, yeah, I was able to kill that team super quick and it was really nice. Well, with that, guys, that's going to do it. Uh, only two games this time. I think if I am going to continue the solo guides, um, it, it just makes more sense for me to do two games because three games can be really uh, just really exhausting. And honestly, sometimes you have games or days where I record six to eight games and only three of them or two of them are even usable because... Uh, I just instantly die or like some crazy long bullshit happens and the server's empty and nobody comes to the bounty blah 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 so i think going forward i think i'm just gonna do two games i mean these two games were spicy though they were spicy right these two games were really really good so i think that's gonna be the play but uh guys thanks for checking it out thanks for uh supporting uh me and thanks for coming to the youtube channel giving me your eyeballs if you guys want to come check out the streams we do have streams every single weekday, sometimes on the weekends, but usually on the weekends, we are playing other games because uh, the weekends is like my time. You know what I mean? I want to just kind of chill and play what I want to play and uh, play some other stuff and, you know, have a good time. So if you guys want to come to the streams and drop a follow, please do that. It really means a lot to me. And even if you're not really a Twitch user, if you just leave a lurk on the stream, it helps me out a bunch, even if you're not chatting. But uh, yeah, guys, thanks for checking out the video. Hopefully you learned something. Hopefully you enjoyed. Uh, guys. I'll see you guys in the next video, okay? Thanks for checking out the video. Seriously, much love, guys. I appreciate you all. Have a good day. Take it easy. Bye-bye. Don't. Oh, you do? There's a chest at the end here. 
up there. Really? Yeah. No, Greg, you're baiting me! <laughs> I'm gonna die! I'm alive, I think. No, I died! <laughs> Greg! No, I died! You Please don't tell me F5! <laughs> Dude. <laughs> oh my god, Greg, you fucking loser. <laughs>